Can you get social security disability, federal disability, and long-term disability or short-term disability through your employer or through your own private insurance? And the answer is yes, but like everything to do with retirement, it is very confusing. Right? We're all, we're all here for that. And the one thing that you probably are interested in is, why did I get a notice I was overpaid? Why do I have to pay back my insurance company because I got approved for disability? And I will go into that. So first, let's start off the different types of disability. First being federal social security disability, right here, the, the red one. Um, it can take you years to get it. Yes, you might think you're a slam dunk to get it because of your conditions, but unless you have Lou Gehrig's disease, you're on the transplant list, um, or you have a terminal cancer diagnosis, everybody else, no matter how chronically ill you are, it can take years to actually get it. I'm sorry about that. That's, that's statistically true. Then once you get approved, there's a five month wait period before they start paying your benefits. And then the payout, what you actually get it's not based on how sick you are, how what percentage of disability you have, like the VA does. It's based on how much you worked and how much you paid in to Social Security. So even though you fight through the morass here of two years and you get it, you might not get very much money because you didn't work in very high paying jobs. You didn't work for very many years. So that is Social Security, federal disability. The rules are federal, it's the same in all states. When you get approved, you get the same amount. So if you move around the country, it doesn't go up or down. If you move to San Diego, a high cost of living area, it doesn't go up. And it doesn't go down if you move to the middle of rural Oklahoma. But now let's look at short-term disability. You could either get this through your employer's benefit program, or you could buy this as, pri as private insurance. And then it could pay out up to like six months. It depends on what policy you buy. And it could pay out a percentage of your income. 40, 50, up to 60% of your income. So you could be getting short-term disability because your insurance company says, hey, you're disabled, you meet our criteria. So you're like, well, cool, I'm gonna apply for federal disability too, I'm gonna get both. You could, but then again, I said this only pays for however many months, not very many months, <laughs> and it could take up to two years to get that. So it's unlikely you'd be getting both of those. Now let's look at long-term disability, again, it could pay for many years, depends on the private insurance policy that you bought. And some of those policies typically have a waiting period. So it might have a one-year wait or a two-year wait. It depends on your policy to actually get the benefits. And then how much it pays is whatever you bought. It might pay up to 50 or 60% of your income. So you're getting long-term disability either through your employer or you bought it yourself. Your own private insurance could pay up to 90% of your income. So you're getting your long-term disability because your private insurance company said, yeah, you're disabled. But the government could say, no, we don't consider you disabled. The government has their own criteria and their criteria is that you're not able to do any type of sustained gainful activity. So they're saying you really can't do any job. Your, your private insurance might say you can't do your job. You can no longer be a chiropractor. You can no longer be a dentist. That's why most people don't have long-term disability except for chiropractors and dentists <laughs> and surgeons. And it's very expensive to get it. So then you're mad that you, you paid for this all these years and it was expensive. And now you're saying, I can't get social security disability too. Um, maybe, maybe what, whatever is going on with you, you're going to qualify for your private insurance and you're going to qualify for federal social security disability. Now, this is the thing that gets people really mad. I'll skip over that. Is that you've been on your own private insurance disability, let's say for two years. Private insurance will require you to apply for social security disability, federal disability. They will require it. And they will require you to appeal, to keep appealing. Then when you get approved, and you might not, but if you do get approved, they, the private insurance company can say, pay me back. Pay me back because we were paying you and you're going to get back pay from Social Security, from the feds. So we want paid back for that time where you are going to get back pay where we already paid you. And you're like, unfair. People are outraged. Yeah. I, yeah, I get it. It's all, 
It's all painful. The whole process of being disabled, losing your job, fighting for the security, the, the disability benefits through your private insurance, then fighting for the feds. You're, you're worn out. And you're, and you're like, what? Now, they're, now they say I was overpaid? Let's look at an example. You were receiving $1,500. Then you got a proof for disability, and they say you're, you're going to get $500. Again, it's not a big amount, but how much you get is not based on how disabled you are. It's based on how much you paid in, how many years you paid into the system, and how high of income you had. So they're saying, we gave you $1,500. But now you're getting disability, it's paying you 500, we're only going to pay you a thousand. Because our policy says that we wanted to pay you 1500, but the, the wording in your policy will say minus any federal benefit you get from social security disability. So they're gonna lower their payment if you're still in a payout period with your private insurance. Exciting. Okay, let's say you have an overpayment situation. How did the overpayment situation occur? It's because of that back pay. So you wouldn't be overpaid if your disability started here and then the, the private insurance company knew about it, it'd be no problem. They could rectify it right there. But when you get approved for social security disability, they back pay you to the onset of your disability. So now we have this overlap where you were getting private insurance from your private long-term disability company. And now they back paid you back here. This overlap period, that's where the Insurance company says, hey, overpay, you got to pay us back. How can we help? Well, we can't. This is just just financial nightmare that you're going to have to work out. We, our company, the MedicareFamily.com, we help people once you've been on disability for two years, for 24 months, because then you'll qualify for Medicare. And that's what we are, our company, the Medicare family, can help you with. But as far as applying for your disability, as far as appealing and these overpayments, you will have to work this out directly with the Social Security office and with your private insurer that provided you your long-term care disability insurance. So if you found this valuable, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. There's a lot of great information on our website. Check it out, themedicarefamily.com. If you like this video, you might really like this video. Check it out. And we'd appreciate if you subscribe to our channel so you never miss a great video. We put out one every week. Check in the description below this video for a link to our cheat sheet on Social Security and Medicare. And you can also give us a comment. If you have a specific question, always feel free to call us or email us at the Medicare family.